What's cracking, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. New video. Let me start off by reminding you once again. I know you're tired of hearing it. I am sick as a dog, right? But you see, I'm all festive. I'm in my Christmas gear. Early. It's a dry run. Practice run. Um, but anyways, I wanted to do this video. Initially, I didn't. But then I said, you know what? There's a lesson to be learned here, okay? So, a lot of you guys saw that yesterday, um, Tony from uh, Letters Written by a Current Prisoner, shout out to Tony. He um, called me out to a boxing match, right? Now everybody knows, that, that's been following me on my channel knows, I don't do that stuff. I didn't care that he called me out. That wasn't the thing. Tony felt that I called him a punk. And I didn't do that. What I did do is repeat what Mike said. And you know what? Long story short, we got on the phone together, Tony and I. And I heard him out. And I told him that was never my intent to offend him, hurt his feelings, or have anyone else think any any less of him because of me you know and uh, we had a very positive conversation um there is no beef between tony and i i think it's very important the reason why i'm doing this video is because um how many times have i said that as rasa we need to stop having beef online we need to stop beefing having these youtube beefs it isn't good for us. It isn't good for our subscribers. Those that are in the drama, that's different. They can find drama elsewhere. But we have an opportunity, all of us, all of us combined, if we could figure out how to <clears throat> respectfully acknowledge each other's existence, even if we don't agree with each other, but if we could respectively um, just be like, hey, Holmes, you know, do your thing, eh? not hate, not create any dissension, then I think as a genre, we could be a juggernaut. Um, but it's yet to be seen, right? I think that um, the interaction that Tony and I had yesterday is proof in the pudding. Um, the same is to be said when Gil and I had a misunderstanding, what did we do? What did Gil and I do? The same thing that Tony and I did. We push it to the side. I will say that in talking to Tony, Tony is very um, eager to get in the ring. I know a lot of people think he's not, but after talking to him, he is, like he said, he fell in love with the sport and um, he wants to test his hands. It's different hitting pads. He wants to test his hands. And um, I wish him luck, you know. That's a good thing, man. To, to find a passion at some point in your life and then a positive passion that's going to get you mentally sharp, physically sharp, that's a good thing. But <clears throat> anyone that's that's getting in the comments on my lives or in any videos and they wish up with you and Tony, nothing. We are content creators. We're able to converse positively and um, it's healthy for us and it's an example for everyone else. We shouldn't have to resort to violence. Um, when there's a misunderstanding, you talk to the person. Find out, hey, how did I offend you? Regardless of if you, look, when you offend somebody, regardless how you feel, it doesn't take away how the other person hearing it feels. And I'm a big enough man to, to understand that. And I did apologize to him because I didn't know that me repeating something like that would um, offend him, but it did. And I was wrong for that, right? And there's gonna be people that are gonna be like, oh, Dubs broke it down. Think what you want of me. You know what I'm saying? Be the people that hate me, hate me no matter what. The people that love me, this is just reinforcing that love and that understanding, right? I try <clears throat> to be um, an example of, of peace and happiness and how um, if, if you use your intellect over your emotion, you can be successful, not only in your in your in your family life, but in your day to day 
interactions with people and in how you view the world. You know, um, this video isn't going to be what everybody hoped it would be because I don't do that. I don't wolf. I don't talk shit. You know, like I said, if I'm wrong or if somebody feels I'm wrong, I want to hear it out, you know, and let's get to the bottom of it. And we did that. And everyone else should should practice that baby steps. It ain't easy. It ain't easy because a lot of us um, were some still are most driven by ego. Your ego don't want you to ever admit you're wrong. Your ego don't ever want you to exhibit an emotion unless it's anger or rage. Somehow, some way, people think that that's manly to be, um, to hate somebody, to be um, angry at somebody. And yet they think that's womanly to, to cry when you're hurting or to show emotion. And I think that's, that's a wrong way to looking at things. I think that when you can be enraged and full of anger towards someone, that's a childish um, emotion. But when you're able to show emotions, what people call weakness, that's the greatest strength in the world. To be, to not care whatsoever what another person thinks about you when you're hurting, you hurt, let your hurt out. You know, there was somebody in the comment section that said that, that him and his homies laugh at me because I'm able to talk about emotions and express emotions. And to me, that's funny. Um, that's like a spoiled child, eh? laughing at poor people. But that spoiled rich child is probably way more dysfunctional than those poor kids because those poor kids can find happiness in the easiest and the smallest things. You know what I'm saying? So anyways, this is my Christmas ramble, my pre-Christmas ramble. Uh, Merry Christmas to everybody. Again, shout out to Tony. Uh, I wish everybody in the genre, I wish every all content creators the best of luck. I'm in that mood right now, you know, where I want nothing but positive vibes and po positive energy in my life as well as yours. Pay attention to what you're watching, what you're listening to, the conversations that you're having. They play a big part in your happiness or sadness, in your anxiety and stress. You run around with 10 positive people, you're going to be a positive person. You run around with one negative person, you're miserable. I'll take the 10. I'll take one positive person over anything. You know what I'm saying? If I can be that positive person for you today, I appreciate you. With that said, everybody, stay smart, stay safe, and tell the ones you love that you love them, right? I'm out. <clears throat>